Hi everybody and welcome to Yummy Eats for One. I'm Chef Tim Bob because you know on YouTube everybody's got to be chef. Okay, today we're going to do some German potato salad, both low carb and regular. Now, if you're not low carbing it, get yourself a nice sized potato, baking potato about that size. And this here is a piece of jicama for you low carbers. It's kind of a cross between a potato, an apple, and a pear. Um, but it's good for substituting for potato dishes. Now, if you're not low carbing it, just wash off your potato and peel it. But for you jicama people, it's not going to be that easy because it's a lot tougher than that and unfortunately you can't just peel it with a potato peeler because it, I don't know if you can really see this but um, it almost has like a denim type texture on in there so you gotta get under that ah uh, see there we go see right there where there's with the actual inside looks like and right here there's this texture underneath there yeah you don't want that okay it's all cut up into little chunks about like that and now we're going to take it and put it in some salted water and let it boil okay we got some salted uh, boiling water here and now carefully put your potato or jicama in there and you want to let it boil till it's you know, soft. You know, you can tell it's done. You don't want, you don't want it falling apart, but you want it to be like have a toothpick or a fork be able to go through it. The jicama people, it's going to take a lot longer. And uh, also, when it's done, you know, uh, with a potato, when you do it, and you know, um, it still has like a soft softness to it. Uh, well, this is never actually going to get super soft like a potato will. It still almost have like almost a raw feel to it. Yeah, but I got myself okay. I got myself a piece of bacon here. I just got one because it was a thick cut. Now, if it was that thin cut stuff, I would have gotten two. But I already pre-chopped mine. Just makes it a little easier for me anyway. But. Okay, since it's uh, already pre-chopped up, I mean, if you you know you want it all the way crispy if you were cooking as a whole piece. Uh, so you can take it up and break it up later. But uh, since it's in the already in pieces and almost done, you want to add about two tablespoons of diced onion and cook that in your uh, bacon grease. You can, uh, adjust enough grease for your onions to saute and impart all that good flavor in there. And just let that go until those are about ready. Okay, as you can see, it's almost done. Add a pinch of salt and a pinch of xanthan gum if you're low carving it. Just pinch like that. And if you're not low carving it, uh, put about one and a half teaspoons of flour in there. You just kind of make a roux and just kind of with a bacon grease and all that. Which the xanthan gum will stick to up there. Then you want to add two tablespoons of the water from your boiled potatoes or pick them up. Stir that all around in there. Okay, now you want to put in one half tablespoon of sugar or sugar substitute and one and a half tablespoons of vinegar. Do that all up in there. Now you want to add in your potatoes. Stir them all up in there. Make it easy on myself. <laughs> and 
some pepper. And just to make it look a little bit more pretty, at the last minute, sprinkle on the green part of some chives. And there you go. German potato salad.